We deeply apologize about our disgusting mess. It's called moving. Hello, and welcome to my garage. This is my Ignite Racing Fuel Corner. Yeah. That's where the magic happens. All the Ignite Racing Fuel canisters. Hello, hello, and it is another vlog today. Today we're doing a little bit of a short one and a different one. People have been asking about like my daily life stuff. So today I'm gonna go over some of the main struggles in my daily life in this current house, which is why we were really pushing to get out of it with the uh, baby girl coming. I kinda... <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at my swollen When your wife gets too distracted feet. with herself so she stops recording you. Babe, they're like sausages. Wow. Frank sausages. <laughs> All right, well, this place is a mess right now, so we're gonna go through though. First thing, one of the biggest problems with this place, I can't make it into the front door because it's got too much of a lip on it. It hurts. But when I do this, just keep it zoomed out so you can show how I do it. All right, so this is like every day, normally the GTR is right here, so I have to be like really careful when I go up this little lip right here. Because if I hit it and bounce back, I hit the GTR. But I always have to go up this lip, grab this and open it. And then I can go through all the way. But then the fun part of closing it, I always get stuck on that. And I can't bend backwards. So normally, I have to, you know, come through and then close it. But it's a big pain in the butt because as y'all know, my back is like super messed up. So that bump hurts every single time. Yep. And it becomes a huge pain. You can't carry anything in the house either. No, because like if I'm carrying something, I can't like gently go up and go over this and then I risk hitting the car and everything too or hurting myself. And a lot of the times I'll go up and I go down too fast and hit that. <laughs> Does not feel good. On to the next. Oh. And I can't do I can't do laundry here. It is such a pain in the butt. I can't You're help. You're not gonna at all. do laundry, period. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh -uh. maybe it's a good excuse. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Number two. <clears throat> Sinks. Sinks are just a pain in the butt, no matter like where I go, because they're so tall. So when I'm in the wheelchair to wash my hands, you know, I have to lean forward. But when I lean forward, it hurts really badly. If I lift both of my arms, sorry, you can hear it in my voice, to try to like wash my hands and stuff. So I have to go one at a time. That hurt now <laughs> while talking. Uh, I have to go one at a time, you know, and kind of like go like this and then like wash it off, wash it off. I have to be very careful. So it's like a real big pain right there too. Myra is nice enough to put a, a, a towel for me down here. Yeah. Came up with this recently, <laughs> so I don't have to reach for the paper towels up there anymore. Um, but yeah, the little things that you don't really think about, but for me, it makes a huge difference. <clears throat> and I don't have that much balance either when I lean forward. Like, I can't plant down with my feet or anything to help give my back strength because I have one leg and it's paralyzed. So it's... Uh, it's interesting, but yeah, little things like that, actually stuff like this, the daily things like this, or like washing dishes and like trying to dry off dishes and twisting and stuff, like that actually hurts more than like sitting on the ground, being up close and changing a 50 pound wheel, which is pretty weird, but it works like that. <laughs> it's the little motions, it's really weird. So on to the next one. Oh, my belly. Oops, I was trying to film my feet. <laughs> Alrighty. Back door. This was especially annoying when well, we still have Miss Luna. But this is a little bit how it is at the new house, but it's just a lot less of a bump. Hold on. Okay. This one is a big one, so... Yeah, you can see my, by the way, sometimes, sometimes people see my leg. <laughs> uh, sometimes you guys will notice my leg bouncing like this and stuff. That's not me doing that. <laughs> I can't, I can't physically do that. I can't move my foot down at all. It's actually the elasticity of the, Casper. Casper, dead gummit. I tried to scare him and keep him back in, but 
Uh, oh, and now it stopped. But it's the elasticity that bounces, and that's what makes driving and braking really scary sometimes. But coming down here every time, whoa. even with how slow I go, now that I'm kind of good at controlling it, it still hurts. And then going back up is a huge pain. Ugh. But I can never carry anything with me going up or down. So, yeah, that kind of sucks too. Casper, what are you doing? All right. Come on, boy. We ain't got time for this. On to the next one. <laughs> Casper, come on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My wife is terrible at recording. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but I love it. It's okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, struggle number whatever it is now. 150. Yeah. Getting on and out of the couch. So, I just use my leg as kind of like a transfer tool. Because <laughs> it's your leg. But I don't know, it just, it hurts and I can't pull like right up next to it or else I'll fall most of the time. And like I can't go too far away or else I fall most of the time. But it's just, yeah, ugh. This doesn't feel great. So it's not, not the funnest thing in the world, but not the worst thing in the world either. Can't really complain. Uh, but just another one of those things, you know? Um, next one is front door. Why you can't use the front door? What? Is it okay? This is so late. <laughs> Hello. Right. This is why I can't come down the front door. The step plus look at how close like Myra's standing at the door. Yeah, we have so, a screen door. If I go down, you will knock the screen door out. Oh, it is very close and it hurts really bad to like avoid hitting it. Oh, we need to move the truck. Um, all right. Ugh. Up. Yeah, this front door doesn't even latch on correctly, so we never use it. Exactly. And like, watch my, this. Look at my stitching. Watch this. My stitch. Is my mm. stitch coming out? Uh, your stitch? It feels like it is. It keeps getting caught. Um, I mean, it's definitely out there, but it's not coming out. Oh, okay. You probably oh, might need to I bandage love this. it up. This house is protected by the good Lord. And a gun. You might meet both if you come in unwelcome. <laughs> you will meet both if you come in. <laughs> All right. Can't get it, ready. Now the biggest one. What am I carrying with me? Is that toilet paper? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> All right. Handicap perks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to go in the closet. That's yeah, just, the that's closet. Hard. Well, it's not any better than that. Why didn't you tell me my hair looked like that, Myra? <laughs> All right. This, okay. Catch this. You see that? My thing gets stuck on the rug. Big pain in the butt. <laughs> and I get stopped suddenly and it hurts. It's not funny. It does hurt. All right. To end it off, this is the worst of the worst. I have literally fallen and knocked myself out twice from this. Um... There is a lip going into the shower where it's a very slippery shower and nothing to hold on to or anything like that. So like, I've literally fallen twice now, banged my head on the glass and then the tile and knocked myself out. While Myra laid outside on the bed speaking to her family and brushed it off her shoulder thinking well, I it's just something falling. I thought you knocked down a bunch of stuff, Tanner. Yeah, you could have at least called really out quiet. ass. Yeah, you exactly. usually get quiet when you do something like that. I don't ever get quiet unless I'm knocked out. <laughs> you did not yell for help. <laughs> uh, I was knocked out. Alright, so this is... <laughs> Stop it. Alright, so this is literally like the worst of the worst. So this is like, I have to do the transfer every night. And sometimes it's wet because Myra's already taking a shower and this gets really slippery. So I have to, with all of my weight, because my, my leg can't support my weight at this angle. If I try to put my weight on my leg, I will just drop straight to the ground. It has to be in my arms. Like, it's completely in my arms. So I have to do it like this, oh, very carefully. Now, 
when I successfully make it here, which is very sketchy, without this sliding out, then with it being wet behind me, I now have to go like this and use what strength I do have in my leg. And it's not really much strength in my leg, to be honest. It's more of hopping with my arms. But I get enough room for my leg to come down. And then from here, well, yeah, you know, it's the twist and it's the mm -hmm. <laughs> getting nice and clean. And then coming back out is sketchy because it's super wet and I have to make sure it's not soapy. <sighs> and as you can imagine, it also hurts my back to do this as well. Go figure. Um, and then I have to do the transfer once again, very carefully without this slipping. Whoa, or doing that and tipping. See, that was sketchy. <laughs> Every single time it's sketchy. And it's like the hardest thing is people don't understand I have to use my arm strength, like my total arm strength for everything that I do. Like I don't use my leg. So, I mean, yeah, those are kind of the daily struggles yeah. for Tanner in his wheelchair. Yep, and he doesn't even fit into no. this bathroom. I can't use the main bathroom, yeah. so. Every morning, every night, every time I have to go to the bathroom, I have to go all the way across the house, all the way to the guest bathroom. So it's a, it's a pain. But yeah, so it's kind of crappy, you know? It's, it's made life pretty hard for the past, what? Seven months? Eight, eight ten, months? Ten months. Ten months? Wait, no, eight months. Eight months. Yeah, eight, nine months. And so, uh, yeah, very happy to be getting out of this place and get to somewhere where it's more handicap accessible, easier for me to get around. It's much more wide open. I can get into all the rooms. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Little story time about Turbo. Come back, girl. Oh my goodness. Give me a quick one. Turbo, we got her at like six weeks. And she was dying. I think she was younger than six weeks. Maybe, yeah, actually, well, yeah. They said mm -hmm. she was six weeks, but the vet said she was younger, most likely. Mm -hmm. She's going to be shy right now. Yeah. <laughs> she always cuddles with us at night, mainly. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, she was, like, dying. And she had a bunch of diseases. She's just sitting there. Had a bunch of diseases and, like, worms and stuff and fleas. And my dad and mom came over and we got the fleas off. And then we kind of like nursed her back to health and she ended up giving us four liters of kittens. And mm -hmm. so that was, uh, that was a pretty fun time. But um, yeah, that's about it for today. We're going to show y'all tomorrow. Um, we're going to be doing... What? Okay. <laughs> we're going to be closing on our house. Mm -hmm. So... What? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? I'm just trying to talk to you too. How do you talk to the people? The people like you. I don't like me. <laughs> you don't like you? No. Oh, you're not in the mirror? Yeah, <laughs> I can kind of see myself in. <laughs> Your position is, just, is glorious. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyways, that's it for today. We are closing on the house tomorrow. Um, so we're going to show you guys the house for the first time tomorrow. We're going to go through everything while it's all empty and kind of tell you a little bit of our plans. And then we're going to make those plans happen on Saturday. And we're going to move out and move in and hopefully everything goes smooth. So, till the next time, check out secondchanceracing.com. Make sure you cop some merch because we're broke from this house and we got a baby coming. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for watching. Seriously, God bless and we'll see you for the next one, okay?